will need is the same as most days, writing utensils like a pen or a pencil, some colored pencils or cookies, paper, and an English dictionary. I want to say thank you to those people who have sent me the written pieces yesterday. Okay, today, we're going to get going with those verbs again. We're going to read a passage together, answer some questions on the passage, and we're going to create a poster, and we're going to make a family tree. Okay, let's see. Let's see how much you remember looking at verbs. Verbs are words that tell us what a person or a thing is doing. The boy kicks the ball, the leaf fell onto the ground. A verb is the most important word in a sentence. Without it, a sentence won't make sense. For instance, if we took the, the verb out of the first, the boy kicks the ball, it will just be the boy, the ball. And we don't really know what he does with the ball or the leaf onto the ground. Okay. Here I have some sentences for you verbs. Read the sentences and then find all the verbs or doing words. We'll start with Lulu ate chocolate and chips. Who knows what word the verb is in the sentence Lulu ate chocolate and chips. Okay, we're using this here. Yeah. Lulu ate chocolate and chips. Well done guys. Okay, let's see. Eight. That was easy enough. Okay, our next one. Lulu made the tea. Wow, you guys are on fire today. Let's see if you're right. Made. Okay, the children played on Lulu's computer. Excellent, guys. Well done. Played. Okay, Lulu shared her toys with the children. Okay, well done. Shared. Okay, the children played in Lulu's garden. easy enough isn't it played the dog chased Adam you guys are doing so well chased Moosey rode his new skateboard Okay, well done. And Lulu poured the juice and the children drank it quickly. Ah, well done. Poured is the one and drank. Lulu poured the juice and the children drank it quickly. So we have two in the last sentence. Okay, let's continue. You're doing so well, guys. Okay, look at the list of present and past tense verbs. Draw a table like the one below and now group the words in the correct table. This is going to take you a little bit of time. So um, I'm just going to want to give you that time to... Um, just continue with that. Okay. So on the one side, you write all the present tense verbs. And then on the other side, you write that verb's past tense. All of the verbs are there in front of you. Sorry about the music.
Okay, so use the pen and pencil you have in front of you. Use your paper in front of you. Draw those tables and write the present tense on the one side and the past tense on the other side. You must draw, well, you don't have to draw both tables. You can draw one long table. Um, I just needed to make two tables to fit it in onto the slide, but you can just make one long one. I see some, someone's asking, are we playing coot on Friday? Maybe. Let's keep it as a surprise. Okay, how are you guys doing? How's your tables coming along? Okay, you're doing well. Oh, there's just more and more people coming. For those of you who just joined us, we are making a, a table. Um, on the one side, we're doing the present tense. On the other side, we're doing the past tense. The words are there, all the verbs that you can use. Okay, someone says they're done. Wow, well done. I'm just going to give a little bit more time for the others that just joined us. else is done okay don't worry about being late if you just joined us we are using verbs we're drawing a table and we're writing the present tense on the one side and the past tense on the other side another one says they're done well done giving a little bit more time just so that everybody has a chance to catch up. Okay, done, done. Someone says not done. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, let the answers appear first on the present tense side and then on the past tense side, one, one at a time. And you can just check your work. Um, I'll go slowly so because your, um, the, your first word might not be my first word, so you have to look for it in your table. But I'll go slow and then we just start marking it. 
Okay, eat and eight. So look for it on your table and then you quickly just check it. Drink, drank, think, thought, write, wrote, catch, caught, hear, heard, sleep, slept, speak, spoke, teach, taught, no, knew, take, took, fight, fought. I'm glad if some of you did this already. Um, I did say this first week, we're just doing revision, just to make sure where you are, we're catching up a bit, and then we're going to start off with a new work. So it's good if you have done this already, um, then we're just revising. So you can see the answers there, and you can quickly check your table. Let me know if you guys are finished checking so I can move on. I've got two done. Anyone else still busy? Okay, good. Okay, let's move on. Okay, fill in the verb that agrees with the subject. So the first sentence here, Jabu to buy a new skateboard. You can just answer that in the group chat quickly. So we can just go through this. Wants or want? Okay, well done, guys. Wants. Next one, th those two boys to buy new skateboards. Want, okay, the little white dog under Manja's bed. Sleeps, well done. Okay, the big dogs in the garden. Sleep. The boy sweets, like or likes. Likes, well done guys. And then the next one, the children, like or likes sweets. Children, ah, that's a mistake, ride sweets. Funny. Okay, Anna rides her bike. Anna and Mandu ride their bikes. He is or are at school right now. He is at school right now. We. Oh, at school right now. Okay. Um, someone's asked if I can go back to the previous slide. If you want to contact me at the end of the lesson on my um, email, I can email you the, that information if you want to. Okay. Okay. We're going to read together. Okay. Animals that live for a long time. There are many stories about animals which have reached an amazing old age. Among mammals, the elephant is believed to live the longest. In fact, there are stories of elephants which have lived for, a long, for as long as 150 or even 200 years. But these have never been proved. 
It is probable that there have been elephants which have lived for about 100 years. But according to the records which we have, the oldest elephant was an elephant which died at an age of just over 60. The horse lives nearly as long as the elephant, and there are many cases of horses which have lived for over 50 years. This is what the records have to say about some other animals which have lived for a long time. A hippopotamus has been known to live for 41 years, a rhinoceros for 40 years, a monkey for over 20 years, and a cat for about 23 years. Remember though that these are records and not the average lifespan of these animals. Among birds, it is known that some parrots have lived for more than 100 years. Stories are told about a European catfish which lived for more than 60 years in a lake in England. The champion as far as long life is concerned is the tortoise. One famous example is the Mauritius tortoise which lived for 200 years. He must have been a grandfather many times over. Okay, let's continue to some questions. Which mammal is known to live the longest? You can just answer it in the chat group chat. A, monkey, B, tortoise, or C, elephant. I'm going to read the question to you again. Which mammal is known to live the longest. So think about that. Ah, some of you have now changed your mind. <laughs> okay, let's see. Which mammal is known to live the longest? Elephant. Remember, a tortoise is not a mammal. Okay. This mammal lives longer than the hippopotamus. Okay, is it A, a horse? B, rhinoceros, or C, a cat. This mammal lives longer than a hippopotamus. Okay. And the answer is A, a horse lives longer than a hippopotamus. Okay, which bird lives longest? A, a cockatoo, B, a macaw, or C, a parrot. Oh, you remembered this one well. Well done, guys. Parrot. Okay, what is meant by the phrase, a grandfather many times over? You can still answer in the group chat. What do you think is meant by the phrase, a grandfather many times over? A grandfather many times over. Now, I'm not asking what animal was a grandfather many times over. I think I'm asking you, what do you think it means, a grandfather many times over? Someone says very old. Someone says being a grandfather multiple times. Okay, someone asks, what is a macaw? It's a, it's a type of bird. Very, very old. So a grand, the person that says a grandfather um, multiple times is, is probably the closest. So they are a grandfather many times over. So they had grandchildren again and again and again. Um, that's how old they are. It means he is a grandfather about two or three times, maybe even more. Very, very old. Yes. Okay, let's look at the next slide. Please put your video um, videos off, guys. Okay. Do you know what mammals are? Do you know what mammals are? Okay, what are they? <laughs> Yes, yes. Yes, you know what they are. So what are they? What, what are mammals? 
what definition should we give for a mammal? Anyone want to answer that in the chat box? Okay, lots of you says something about how they give birth, or warm blooded, or things like that. I'm going to. Anyone else want to try? <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. An animal which young is fed on milk from the mother's body. So animals that drink milk from their moms, they are mammals. Okay. That's the easy way to explain it. So that's why in that first slide when I asked which mammal is the oldest, it wasn't the tortoise because the tortoise isn't a mammal. Okay, what is a champion? In your own words, what do you think? What is a champion? What is a champion? Someone says a winner, okay. A winner of a competition, a winner. What else? Okay, let, let's see. A person or animal that has won a competition of skill, strength, etc. So in this case, in our story, it would be a, an animal that has won a competition of old age. <laughs> okay. Our next slide. What is meant by an amazing old age. What is meant by an amazing old age? Okay, someone says very old. Someone says they still look young. <laughs> I think let's, let's look at the word amazing. So we all know what old age means. But what does amazing really mean? Okay, amazing, causing great surprise or wonder, especially because of quantity or quality. So in this case, the old age causes us to be surprised or in wonder. So we are, wow, we are so amazed at how old these animals can get, especially the tortoise. Okay, let's read some more about turtles. Turtles belong to one of the oldest reptile groups in the world, beating snakes, crocodiles, and alligators. Turtles are easily recognized by their bony cartilaginous shell. This super tough casing acts like a shield to protect them from predators. Some turtles can even tuck their head up inside their shell for extra protection. Just like your bones, a turtle's shell is actually part of its skeleton. It's made up of over 50 bones, which include the turtle's ribcage and spine. Contrary to popular belief, a turtle cannot come out of its shell. The turtle's shell grows with them, so it's impossible for them to grow too big for it. What a turtle eats depends on the environment it lives in. Land-dwelling turtles will munch on beetles, fruit, and grass, whereas sea-dwellers will gobble everything from algae to squid and jellyfish. Some turtles are carnivores, meat eaters. Others are herbivores, plant eaters. And some are omnivores, a mixture of the two. Many baby turtles start life as carnivores, but grow to eat more plants as they mature. Sadly, many species of turtle are endangered. 129 of approximately 300 species of turtle and tortoise on Earth today are either vulnerable, endangered, or critically endangered. 
Threats include loss of habitat, poaching, and illegal pet trade. Okay, so what can we do to help safeguard turtles? Let's read. Okay, what can we do to protect sea turtle habitat? Reduce marine debris that may entangle or be accidentally eaten by sea turtles. Participate in coastal cleanups and reduce plastic use to keep our beaches and ocean clean. Trash in the ocean can harm sea turtles and other sea creatures that live there. Carry reusable water bottles and shopping bags. Refrain from releasing balloons. They'll likely end up in the ocean where sea turtles can mistake them for prey and consume them. Keep nesting beaches dark and safe for sea turtles. Turn off shield or redirect lights visible from the beach. Lights disorient hatchling sea turtles and discourage nesting females from coming, coming onto the beach to lay their eggs. Do not disturb nesting turtles, nests or hatchlings. Attend organized sea turtle watches that know how to safely observe nesting sea turtles. Remove recreational beach equipment like chairs, umbrellas, boats at night so sea turtles are not turned away. Fill in holes and knock down sand castles before you leave the beach. They can become obstacles for nesting turtles or emerging hatch hatchlings. Never abandon fishing gear. Hooks, lines or nets left in the water can entangle and kill sea turtles. Okay, here's just a few things. There are, there are more that um, how we can help sea turtles. Now, I want you to create a poster to help protect turtles and their breeding ground. And you have to have these things checked up on your poster. A picture of a turtle, you can draw it if you want. A large heading to attract attention. The relevant information on how we can protect these wonderful animals. And I think I'll go back to the, the um, previous slide so that you can um, look at the information and you can put that on your, you don't have to put everything on your poster, obviously, just a few things one or two, um, and like I said, you can draw. You don't have to um, copy a picture or print a picture. Um, just make sure that you have a picture of a turtle, a large heading to attract attention. You can make that colorful if you want, and then the relevant information. So I'm going to go back to the previous slide, and there's some information on how we can help. Um, and you can use that in your poster. I know it doesn't matter if you have if you don't have a beach in Midrand. Um, I'm not asking you to do any of this. I'm just asking you to create a poster for awareness so that you know if ever you are at the beach, um, you know what you have to do. You don't have to draw a background. It's not important. You can the, if you want. You're allowed to be as creative if you, as you feel. As long as you keep in mind that you put some information on it and that that heading is nice and big. Okay, Ceci, you have your hand up. If you want to ask me a question in the group chat, you can ask me privately if you want. You can copy your turtle if you don't feel like drawing one. You're more than welcome to print it out. But like I said, um, you can just draw a turtle as well. Even just the outline. Okay. 
You don't have to use all of this information on your poster. Choose one or two things that stand out to you. Even think of something that you maybe do can will be able to do specifically. Like I don't fish, so um, but I mean it's a it's a good idea to put that on there. Okay, yes, you can draw a background if you want. Okay, I'll explain again. We're making, we're creating a poster. And um, let me go to that slide. We're creating a poster and your poster has to have a picture of a turtle, which you can either draw or you can print it out or you can cut it out. Um, it has to have a large heading to attract attention. It can be colorful, you're allowed to use colors um, and then it has to have some relevant information on how we can protect these wonderful turtles so what I've done is I've put some information together on how we can protect um, the turtles habitat and you are more than welcome to use this information okay someone says they're done I would really, really like it if you could either take a picture of your poster or um, scan it in and send it to me. Ah, someone says they did a school project where they collected plastic, put it in the water, and they had to put their hand into the water to feel what it feels like to touch the plastic. No, not in Afrikaans. <laughs> in English, please. Okay, another one says done. Okay, we see more questions. Okay, another one says done, done. Like I said, you don't, you really honestly don't have to write all of this information. Just choose one or two things to put on your poster. You're not done with this lesson. <laughs> okay. Not done with this season. How how are you doing? Some of you finished. Some of you still writing, drawing pictures. Done. Someone says done. <laughs> okay. Everyone done. 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 Okay. Done. Done. Okay. Okay, 
let's continue. If you're not done, it's not the end of the world. You're allowed to finish it at your own pace. I'm going to. Okay, let's answer some questions. Number one about our family. Your brother's or your sister's daughter is your? Answer it in the group chat as quickly as you can. It can, you can do it at your own pace. The person that asks, is it for homework? It's fine. You can do it and send it to me. And I'll send you my email address at the end. Niece, niece, niece. Let's see. We have to fly through these. Okay. Your aunt's daughter is your number two. Your aunt's daughter is your? Your aunt's daughter. Ah, there we go. Number two, your aunt's daughter. Well done, cousin. Your mother's mother's mother is your. <laughs> your mother's mother's mother. Okay, I'm not getting any answers for number three. Ah, there we go. Your great grandmother. Well done, guys. Your brother's wife is your. Your brother's wife. Sister in law. Your uncle's son is your? Your uncle's son. Your cousin. Your sister's husband. your brother-in-law okay here we're running a bit out of time but here draw your family tree you could also add grandparents this specific family tree doesn't have grandparents but you are more than allowed to draw some grandparents um, some family trees will be small maybe just you an only child your mom and dad um, Maybe one or two cousins. Maybe you have a large family. You have three siblings, um, lots of cousins. You're allowed to draw either a small or a very large family. That's fine. It's your family. Um, I want you to draw your family tree, and I would love for you to send it to me. Um, you can get going with that. Please put off your videos. You can draw, yes, you can draw. Okay. Try and keep to our task, which is a family tree. How are you guys doing with your family trees? Someone says they're almost done.
Okay, you have about two more minutes with me, but you don't have to worry. You can finish this up on your own time. Okay, let's see our next slide. Okay, we worked through a whole lot of verbs today, present and past tense. We read um, about animals. We answered some questions. We created a poster and a family tree. Okay, if you're interested to learn more about the oldest living animals, there's a link. There's a link. Okay, there we go. There's a link if you want to go and visit and learn more about the oldest living animals. And then join us for tomorrow's lesson, same place, same time. We'll learn more about bar charts. We'll practice those superlatives. And there we go. There's my email address. It's lisafenter79 at gmail.com. If you would like to um, take some pictures of your family trees, if you'd like to send me those posters, you can take a picture of that as well. That would be great. And you can send it to my email address. Someone says they would like to go back to the verbs. Um, if you would like to email me, there's my email address. And um, I can maybe send you that specific page. It was nice having you today. You must have an awesome day.